this is one of these nice little necessities, the mother of invention type uh, 3D printing tips, is that I had been wanting to do a canary, so what ends up being something pretty similar to this. And what you might have noticed is that this is actually all white PLA, but it has been coloured in using a permanent marker. So this is a uh, permanent yellow Sharpie, and quite simply just colouring the thing over the top. Now, the slight downside is uh, if you, you have to wait for sort of a good few hours for it to completely dry, otherwise you get this residue on your fingertips. Um, but overwhelmingly, it's really, really effective for just working out whether I want this in yellow, or indeed I've got some old uh, examples of things, for example, like the, the sensor unit here. And this is actually small white inserts which have been colored in with a blue Sharpie. Um, and what that means is that whilst I was waiting for this colour to come through, which is more of an aqua, and we thought it was uh, not exactly what we were looking for, and then this thing which is a bit closer to it, I guess you'd call the sort of uh, cyan, um, or more of a sort of sky blue to come through, it, it sort of allowed us to sort of see very quickly that this is just a little bit too heavy. Um, so I think it's a really nice way to uh, get an early flavour of something without having to uh, you know, go too much into buying reels and reels and reels. There is one good tip out there as well, that most companies you can ask for samples or indeed you can get multi-packs of a couple of uh, meters of each different color that they stock uh, for usually quite a reasonable price. Um, I'm someone, as you might have seen with Radio Globe, where I tend to use uh, sort of a, a mono color highlight. So the red here was the, the signature color. And I'll probably do something a little bit similar with the air quality kit and the canary. So I hope that's useful. Bye. So this is just a little close-up of the yellow filament.